what was the switch between going and studying medical and wanting to do something in that industry to yeah. suddenly the switch of uh, beauty pageant? I still remember this conversation happening around the film Devdas. Aishwarya and Sushmita were Miss World and Miss Universe. They mm. won uh, Miss India. And then the whole conversation about beauty pageant started. I was watching your interviews yesterday. You somewhere said that I'm I'm an introvert. You were an introvert? I am an introvert. I am an introvert in real life. Okay. I don't think uh, I I speak as much and tell people as much about my life as I am right yeah, now. Right. But there's a side of me that enjoys doing that on stage and that enjoys wow. doing that maybe in front of the camera. Miss World is life changing. Some kind of a responsibility. Everybody comes out and feels that I want to change the world. When you won, what did you want to do firstly? So Mrs. Uh, Julia Molly used to always uh, say this. Uh -huh. She said that you don't have to move mountains even if you can change one life. Right. You know, that's more than enough. Hi, I'm Anushi Chilla and you're watching this on Bollywood Hangama. Manushi, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. Good to see you in a bright colour and this is in your new home, Bia, right? Yes. So, you shifted from where to where? I shifted from one floor to the other. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, okay. that's it. That sounds it, but that's a lot of work firstly. And which part of the city, why here? Uh, where do your parents go? Where do you go to work? Um, so, all three of us go to different places to work. Um, obviously, this is somewhere central okay, for all yeah, of us. Is, right. um, I go towards Andheri, Film City. Uh, sometimes, if I'm lucky, Bandra. Bandra. <laughs> uh, but my father goes to uh, towards Kulaba. Right. He goes to Fort, and my mother goes to Navi Mumbai. Right. So we decided what is that one place which will be right in the center, center. which obviously sense. is far for all three of all us. Of you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's that's what uh, that's when we saw we saw the building. Actually, we really loved it. Mm. Uh, I think we came here three years ago, my father and I, and we absolutely fell in love with the area mm, and you know mm. we decided okay this is where we want to live right and uh, we've been living in this building for three years wow yeah and so if the viewers get any view this is mumbai and that's the sea this is a beautiful place that you you have so thank you good well done with that and if i take you back to your delhi life what yeah. was that like do you remember everything do you recall how life has changed first tell us what that was like delhi life so uh i mean for the first seven years of my life uh, although I was born in Rohtak, okay. we lived in Bangalore because okay. my father used to work for the ministry, like he works for the Ministry of Defense. Okay. So he started in Bangalore, then he moved to Delhi. So all, obviously all of us moved with him. Uh, Delhi is be, has been where I've done my schooling. Okay. After which I spent a year and a half in Sonipat where I was studying medicine. And But I mean, I used to get so homesick that every weekend... Even if I had a one day holiday in the week, I'd just it's run home. home. <laughs> I, I think I, I've, I've always been You're a home child. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been a home body and I've been like overly, I think, attached to my parents. I used to just call my father, ask him to pick me up. And I think I moved to Bombay, obviously, for the Miss India pageant. Right. Uh, I came here to compete as one of the finalists. And uh, I stayed back hmm. because I had to prepare for Miss World uh, after that. And then after Miss World, so much work was happening in Bombay for me that... Mumbai became a base. Right. And my parents eventually agreed to right. <laughs> move to Bombay. So during that, during my Miss World year, only I think four, three, four months into the Miss World pageant when I was living in Bombay alone, mm. you know, I used to come back and I used to feel so lonely because mm. I used to feel, what do I do? Who right. do I talk yeah, to? And I've yeah. always lived, like I've had two siblings. I've always lived with so many people, always having uh, so much of emotional right. dependency <laughs> on others. Uh, so I think that and and the fact that it was a new city, I was only 20, right. uh, I kind of reached out to my parents and I told them that it would be great if you guys could consider moving here and I think slowly, you step by step. step, you know, they managed to shift. Right. You know, uh, what was the switch between going and studying medical and wanting to do something in that industry to yeah. suddenly the switch of uh, beauty pageant? Who all were a part of this? I think uh, for me, from a very young age, uh, the idea of wanting to compete at a beauty pageant was very vain. I think I must have been three or four. I don't even remember how old I was. Maybe a little older, four or five. Mm. And I still remember this conversation happening around the film Devdas. Mm. Where, uh, you know, my parents were discussing something about, oh, you know, uh, Aishwarya and Sushmita were Miss World and Miss Universe. Mm. They won 
मिस इंडिया एंड देन दे रिप्रेजेंटेड एंड देन द होल कॉन्वर्सेशन अबाउट ब्यूटी पैज इन स्टार्टेड एंड इन माई हेड आई जस्ट आई रिमेंबर एज अ चाइल्ड द ओनली इमेज आई हैड इन माई हेड वॉज दैट यू गेट अ क्राउन एंड दैट वॉज सच an attractive thing for a for a little right. girl yeah. you know who's yeah. who's grown up watching uh, princess stories reading right. like fairy tales i thought oh my god you get to be a real life princess mm. but i never paid much attention to that thought i think mm. after that i mean my life went how it was supposed to go right. uh, my parents are doctors and where i come from you are very much expected to you know get good marks mm-hmm. excel in mm-hmm. <laughs> academics and then uh, prepare for a Uh, for an entrance exam right. uh, a competitive exam get a professional degree right. and then start working so that's that's like the basic expectation yeah. so obviously as i grew older i remember i was around 14 probably when i decided i wanted to be a doctor okay. like my parents right. uh, all my friends wanted to be doctors mm. i thought the subject is very interesting mm. so th- i mean that that was what my career choice right. at that time right. Uh, so you get to choose from uh, the pool of choices yeah, you have then absolutely uh, i always considered everything outside of studies to be as a hobby <laughs> so right. i never thought i would make uh, a career out of it hmm. uh, having said that around i think i remember 2013 uh, the miss world show hmm. was uh, playing on television okay. and i was scrolling through different channels and i happened to come across the show and i watched that I watched. I think it was a two, two and a half hour episode, okay. and that's when I realized that this is actually a platform. Like mm. from what I used to think of it when I was a child, right. uh, you know, this is actually a platform which gives young women mm. a chance, a stepping stone to do whatever they're doing in a better manner. Okay. The experience, the experience of traveling, the experience of meeting so many people, mm. and I knew that this is an experience that I wanted in life. I okay. knew this would add value to whatever I do right. later on. So I think that was the thought. and uh, i think uh, i always thought i'd compete after i finished college mm-hmm. uh, after i finished my mbbs uh-huh. uh, but uh, i was in a in a college fest and that's when i think uh, there was something called as campus princess where they were scouting mm. for talent from educational institutes okay. and i mean that, that's where i got scouted i auditioned mm. for miss india uh one miss india i all i thought i'll go and get like a little bit of experience and then mm. maybe compete later right. with that experience but after i won i said okay now this is it's right. all in you know uh so after after i won then i was like okay let's just let's just put college on a pause for a bit and prepare properly for miss world right so i keep taking you back because yeah. you know because this is so interesting and so when you when you came back home and said okay i am applying for miss india and i'm yeah. going ahead with it what did parents said were they okay with it because a lot of parents i can imagine once you're in medical they'll be like finish this first like <laughs> Actually, to be very honest, I think my parents have been the bigger contributor here. Wow! Uh, because they always knew that I was very much interested. Okay. Uh, in in the world of pageantry, and of course, the minimum age criteria was is eighteen. Hmm. So I had to wait till I got eighteen. After I got eighteen, I was in a college. Right. So I I thought in my head it would be easier if I finish my four and a half years of mm. MBBS and mm. before internship I thought I'll probably uh, go and try yeah. my hand at pageantry. I think a lot of support came from my mom, who very actively even when the campus princess mm. happened, uh, you know we that year they changed the format and they said we'll have one winner from each state yeah. to uh, encourage participation right. from different states. And I still remember I told my mom I said you know I can. I I have to audition. I can either either hot audition from uh, mm-hmm. Haryana or I can audition from Delhi. Okay. So what do I do? And I remember we were close to Sony, but then the audition was really close. Mm-hmm. So I think she was the one who encouraged me. She said, "No, let's go. Uh, let's audition." I told her, "I'm not prepared. <laughs> how yeah, do I don't yeah, know how yeah. to walk the ramp. I right. don't know. I don't know all these things. I don't know how to do my own makeup yeah. and you know all those other things that you need to be uh, you know groomed for." Right. So. I think she gave me a lot of confidence, and she said, "No, nice. don't worry. Huh. We'll figure it out." We had, I think, seven days between the audition and the zonals, okay. uh, where she took me to a pageant uh, coach. I think she used to teach me a little bit of ramp walk, okay. uh, just okay. how to stand on stage. You right. know, just just yeah. those, those little nitty gritties. You know, right. that had to be polished that you could do in uh, seven days. So I remember my mom took leave from work, and she'd like go with me, and <laughs> uh, after that, she'd help me do my homework. You know, she'd practice with me. So I think a lot Amazing. of support came from yeah. their end. Hmm. That's really really nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I was watching your interviews yesterday. You somewhere said that I'm I'm an introvert. You were an introvert, or how does no. a girl <laughs> who is an introvert go for go and face the world at a beauty contest? I think that's the beauty of being someone who's 
shy and probably someone who's been fairly reserved throughout life okay i feel somewhere i look at it as that the energy that i've saved <laughs> that i get to present it yeah. on stage nice. um i've always felt like a different person on stage hmm. i think uh, that was my one time where it felt like you know that 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 adrenaline rush that you get just before uh, th- there's an excitement yeah, that builds just yeah. before you're about to do something adventurous right it it always felt like that and that that's a certain high that you always get right i felt that in the zonals huh. uh, of miss india and then you know it got better at miss india and it got even better at miss world right uh, as much as i would like to say I am an introvert. I am an introvert in real life. Okay. I don't think uh, I I speak as much and tell people as much about my life as I am right yeah, now. Right. Uh, but I enjoy. But there's a side of me that enjoys doing that on stage and that enjoys wow. doing that maybe in front of the camera. Right. Miss World is life changing. You know, yeah. it's, it is. Uh, did your li- life change in what ways? You know, um, I've interviewed a lot of uh, people who participated. People who have won. Um, you know there's a there's i don't know if it's some kind of a training where there's a there's some kind of a responsibility everybody comes out and feels that i want to change the world hmm. uh, everybody has good intentions no yeah. doubt about that very few people end up doing that most hmm. of them become actors like yourself hmm. and many other before you also when you won what did you want to do firstly i think when i won i wanted the whole experience of one year okay. um of course there is the whole mission and vision of a pageant such as miss world hmm. is to raise funds for beauty with a purpose okay. that's what you are doing right for that one year okay so uh, that is the goal that you need to have when right. you enter the pageant hmm. which i of course was very fortunate enough to do at a very young age hmm. having said that uh, being an actor and not doing your little bit for society are not exclusive things you know you can yeah. you can be whatever you or you can do whatever you want to and do you, you can, can be do. a part of any profession right. but at the same time you know you do your little bit and you right. uh, you know and i remember mrs uh, julia molly used to always uh, say this uh-huh. she said that you don't have to move mountains even if you can change one life right you know that's more than enough yes, you don't right. have to right. you're one person you right. you don't yeah. have to go right. around and think that it's my mission to change the world right uh, but she said even if you can transform one life you know right. even if you can add value in any like minor mm. minor way i think mm. that is mo- more than what most people do nice absolutely right and when you won miss world what was the family <laughs> siblings cousins friends yeah. reactions i think uh, see for the first thing was everyone was so excited that a girl from our family was even participating right. in a pageant mm. so they had all come to china Yeah. and i still remember i was like searching and luckily china is ni- right next to india so the traveling Travel, was yeah, much easier and you know when i was even on stage i was scanning the audience you know you try to find yeah, your parents yeah, yeah. but i just remember that finally when i reached the top 5 round yeah. that's when i i saw i think they were interviewing they were looking to interview parents okay and they they spotted mine and they came and they interviewed for the show they inter- just generally interviewed my family wow. and that's when i you know managed to spot them and i just remember for the first time in my life the amount of pride i saw in my father's eyes so nice i was like oh my god i don't yeah. care if i win or not yeah. this i have done so Beautiful, i think yeah, yeah so i think a lot of excitement a lot of i remember when i went back to delhi you know we celebrated it in such a north indian manner <laughs> there was there was there, there was bhol and you know yeah. uh, there was a full band that was that was ready to welcome me people were dancing on yeah. the streets <laughs> i think that was it was very nice to see people so happy <laughs> for something which you always thought would be your victory but you don't you didn't realize that it would that everyone would feel victorious right. about it you know is it once you win that and you see so much you know noise and tamasha around yeah. it everybody's <laughs> happy is there stress to maintain that like you know i have to be on top of the game now there is a lot of uh, responsibility there are a lot of expectations yeah. also you have big shoes to fill yeah. uh, you've seen these other women amazing women who started from the same platform yeah, and done yeah. amazing things in yeah. life uh, where the expectation automatically becomes Increases, that you know you right. already have you already have that benchmark that you have to uh, you kind of live up to right um so of course there is a certain amount of pressure there are always there are constant eyes on you i remember right. i mean i was only 20 and i'd never <laughs> been in the public eye before yeah, so for yeah. me initially i felt that oh my god everything i do everyone knows and it's always yeah, i'm constantly yeah. being watched True. 
if i'm going out for dinner with my parents like there are people around who would you know come up and you know talk to me so the the very feeling which it's very sweet you know the very yeah. feel but the very feeling of wherever you go there's no anonymity yeah yeah takes that's a bit true. takes some time getting used to right that's you know i was going to come to this later but now that you brought it up yeah are you okay with this uh, you know someone who again was an introvert was a private person and all that you're very confident on stage and on camera but this brings people so close to your life you <laughs> have you have a new house i already read about it so oh. so everybody <laughs> I knows i read about it <laughs> so everybody knows everything that you're up to is yeah. are you okay with that fact see i feel that it would be wrong of me to say that i went to miss world and i now i don't want to be popular and things right. like that uh, obviously you know we didn't have a winner for the last 17 years yeah. so i never had first hand experience of seeing what it would be like i was 3 years old when priyanka chopra won miss world yeah. <laughs> so i never had first hand experience of what a winner's life would be like you right. know how life would change right. for me it was just a perception that uh, you know you get to travel and it's very different in india compared mm. to many other countries mm. you know i've uh, of course i'm so close to uh, the miss world from the philippines the miss world from south africa right. and every country receives their miss world in such a different manner okay. here the celebrity status yeah yeah the uh, you know the the popularity is yeah. another level and it's yeah, great it's it great is. for uh, you know it's it's great for for uh, for us because you get celebrated in such an amazing manner amazing when you way. come here which every miss world would tell me you know every miss world would always tell me this they said you know when we went to our countries it was it was sometimes it was nice sometimes mm. it was okay but they said when we came to india we felt like superstars superstars right <laughs> you know the amount of love that uh, that they all got but uh, you know uh, having said that i think i got i had the realization of winning Mm. when i came here when i okay. saw everyone and i saw everyone uh, celebrate the way they were celebrating okay. and uh, for me it was it was really overwhelming in mm. a nice manner right um after which of course it took some time getting used to because i was so used to like you know doing my own thing mm. i i when i was in college sometimes if i wanted to come home and my father was too busy to pick me up hmm. i would just hop onto a haryana roadways bus and come i said oh shit i can't do that now <laughs> you can't yeah <laughs> i'll say that again do not use that line i said oh no i can't do that now <laughs> right so so you know that that feeling was uh, was there that i said oh my anonymity yeah. is gone i could yeah, like just yeah. sit and do whatever right. which i mean i still do it's not that uh, the lucky thing lucky thing about being in bombay is that Bombay is still very chilled out. Yeah, it is. Things. It is yeah. absolutely. You can really do your own thing. Hi, I'm Anushi Chilla, and you're watching this on Bollywood Hangama.